in today's lecture we are going to look at what the trade and uh, the concepts involved with it so let us recap what we have studied in the previous lectures as as i have been uh, stating in all the lectures that uh, the videos are titled as e1 e2 and so on this is the third video in this particular series and hence titled e3 okay kindly go through the introductory video titled e1 wherein i explained uh, uh, the reason uh, and the objective of this particular course the idea is to share the knowledge uh, for the benefit of uh, uh, students or uh, professionals like uh, uh, so it is directed again as persons who are preparing for competitive examinations or who want to just have a improve their generalized understanding of the economy and their related concepts okay and um, yeah i request you to kindly go through the introductory video and uh, kindly let me know in case if you find uh, anything wrong with any of the content uh, associated with this let, let us go to uh, the i mean let us go to the topics which are covered in this example i mean in this particular course first one is we are going to look at what is a trade and then we are going to look at what is a market and then goods and services barter system and money we'll go through it uh, slowly okay so just to have a good understanding now let us understand this particular problem just pause for few seconds and then uh, uh, try to understand what could be the answer just let me read out there is a fictional country which does not have money under circulation so when i say money under circulation it is neither in the physical form such as cash or digital money such as e wallets or something like that now uh, the problem is how does the trade happen i mean how does uh, people exchange the goods in this particular country so the answer lies in uh, maybe could be one of the example answer could be in the barter system uh, which we are going to study further okay now let us understand what is a trade trade is an exchange of goods or services for a particular consideration look at this image there are buyers there are sellers here there are many buyers there are many sellers and the exchange of goods or services happen here we all know that uh, goods and services when you go to a vegetable market okay we purchase uh, uh, vegetables for a particular consideration which is we give out certain money to the sell seller or to the uh, to the seller okay and we get something else in return so we are the buyer there in the vegetable market and the sellers are vegetable vendors okay and the exchange of goods and services happen for a particular consideration okay and uh, this happens at a marketplace market is a place where exchange of goods take place okay and uh, if you look at a uh, different uh, kind of product uh, i mean these particular uh, participants market participants might vary so if you look at this uh, third point that i'm trying to highlight there are many players for a trade okay in the example uh, of a particular good say for example a toothpaste which is manufactured somewhere else okay and uh, it goes to distributors for a, who are specific for a particular region and then it will exchange it will go to wholesaler and then retailer and then to end customer so there are various intermediaries involved between the actual manufacturer who actually produce a good and the end customer who is try, who is a consumer okay he is a producer he is a consumer here okay there is no hard and fast rule okay this may have anomalies like i mean one person can uh, play the role of both uh, and uh, in some of them there are there might be certain exceptions so just going back to uh, what is a trade trade is something uh, uh, an exchange of goods or uh, services for a particular consideration so we all uh, do kind of a trading of commodities etc and then uh, let us look at goods and services consumer needs materials or services to satisfy their wants right like we we all we are a social uh, uh, being and uh, we have a uh, different necessities uh, in our day to day life so we try to purchase something and then we try to give uh, services uh, you go to office and you provide uh, your skill set so it could be a service right if you are working in a manufacturing uh, company like you may work for the production of a particular good or a car manufacturing etc etc now so these are all uh, i mean we personally want different materials or services to satisfy their want 
for example we may go to a dance class okay wherein uh, the tutor will provide a coaching uh, coaching services right he will train you so it's a service and there is no exchange of the physical uh, anything like a good something okay and then the motorcycle motorcycle is a need okay that is manufactured somewhere else and then uh, you are the end purchaser and uh, secondly because of this particular need an opportunity has arisen okay now uh, consumer want many things okay but do they have i mean can they pay certain money uh, for those particular services or needs uh, determines the demand for a particular good okay uh, if i want to purchase a high, high end uh, uh, car but i do not have money so that is not uh, typically a demand okay it, it could be a want but it is not a demand now whenever there is an opportunity comes like a business try to grab this opportunity by manufacturing or providing services uh, with respect to the items which are in demand now these items can be considered as goods or services for example air conditioner tv table uh, chair so these these are all can be considered as a goods okay and then uh, services uh, can be like uh, giving a music classes uh, coaching uh, uh, for sports educa education so these are all the services uh, i mean which comes under these are all the things which comes under uh, services okay so and then let us go back to uh, the problem statement which we have discussed initially that there is a fictional country which does not have money under circulation and how does a trade happen in this particular country right now the answer lies here uh, i mean this is one of the example okay the batter system a gives 2 kg of rice to b and a gets 1 kg of wheat from b in exchange okay so if you look at this a doesn't want rice so he gives away to b and b b receives a uh, rice okay and he gives away 1 kg of wheat to a okay so basically a doesn't want rice but he wants wheat b wants rice and he doesn't want wheat so there's a transaction which is happening uh, because of the mutual coincidence of want so basically barter system is play, uh, is where exchange of goods and uh, goods and services happen based on mutual coincidence of want okay and there is uh, and it doesn't typically involve money aspect here uh, which we use in the traditional uh, i mean which we use in the modern world now if you look at observe this uh, quantity so we can assume that 2 kg of rice has an equivalent value of 1 kg of wheat so wheat is a valuable is more valuable than rice going by this example okay so and let us understand how money uh, will help simplify this particular transaction basically money is a medium of exchange okay so uh, it is very important in a particular trade or uh, in any of the modern society now if we use money double coincidence of want is avoided and uh, this particular money is typically backed by governments respective governments so there is an authenticity factor to it and uh, trade becomes easier with the use of money let us understand this statement in the next example in this example a is giving 2 kg of rice to b okay so the same example where we have used in the barter system okay now b instead of giving a wheat to a he is giving 100 inr i mean 100 indian rupee or 100 some form of a currency in return to a now a is giving rice he is getting money now b is receiving rice and b is giving out money so basically money is a common medium uh, which is used for the exchange of goods in this example now let us know what is the advantage okay there is always an advantage because uh, in this example it is i mean although a may not want a wheat in return so in such a case the transaction doesn't happen right if a is ready to give rice and uh, he is expecting wheat in return for example if b doesn't have that wheat so what does he do like i mean uh, that particular transaction it is difficult to uh, i mean 
it is it is difficult to make right so with the use of money it is a there is a commonality factor to it so a is receiving 100 inr in return this guy a can go to a market and directly purchase the wheat so that is how the transactions can happen it will simplify the transaction now using this uh, money mutual coincidence of want is avoided and secondly the value for a good is determined by the market now if you look at this example 2 kg of rice is equated to 100 inr so 1 kg of rice is costing around 50 rupees 50 rupees or 50 inr right so this is how the market will determine how much price a particular good has now just going back to uh, the summary like what we have studied we have studied what is a trade we have studied what is a market and we have also studied what is a good and service we have also studied uh, the barter system we have also studied the money the concept of money okay thanks for watching the video okay uh, kindly uh, share your feedback uh, so this is a first ever uh, lecture series so hence i am not a master to it actually uh, the only intention of uh, starting this particular course is to share the knowledge that i possess so that people i mean uh, can benefit out of it so and uh, kindly subscribe uh, to this particular channel if you are new to uh, new to this and please share to uh, others so that uh, uh, everyone uh, can benefit out of it you will be learning more most interesting uh, I mean more further more in interesting topic in the coming lectures do check out uh, this particular channel okay thank you